Hey guys, welcome to the channel. We've got the Holly Stone Bolt B, the HS150, that we need to do a motor repair on. We had a bit of a crash, broke the motor mount actually, as well as the motor, and now we are going to have to pull this apart put in a new motor. I've ordered some new motors from uh, Hollystone. So we are going to see what we can do to get this thing fixed up. So we've got the new motors here. We've got one clock clockwise, one counterclockwise. And we are going to see what it's going to take to get this thing up and running again. And I've actually contacted Holly Stone about this, and they were kind enough to actually send me a brand new bolt B. Sorry, not brand new, but an Amazon return bolt B. So we're going to do an unboxing of the Amazon return bolt B in another video. So let's get started here. So first thing we got to do is flip it over. get this in the frame here, flip it over, and we've got a few screws that we've got to remove here. So we've got four screws that need to be removed right away. Do this left-handed so that I don't block the shot. One, two, it's going to flip it like this, be a little bit easier. these back to here. I apologize if the camera works not that good. This is very new to me. So I've got that undone. I'm actually gonna be smart here and we're gonna pop out the battery because it's probably not wise to keep it in there. Alright, so we've got that undone. Now, the motors on this are just plugged in. Oh, interesting. You can see there's four plugs there. Those are for the motors. One, two, three, four. Show this on the other camera too. Four motors. So the replacement motors I have are not plug and play. So the replacement motors I have are hardwired. But these are straight from Hollystone. So we'll make it work. Not a big deal. If there's a will, there's a way. So we need to I'm gonna pop this undercarriage I call it or yeah, I would call it the undercarriage. Let's pop that off. Just gonna put this out of the way. So we got four more screws to take out. One there. Yeah, I've had uh, a few discussions with Holly Stone, and uh, this is my first drone with them, and they've been nothing but excellent to deal with. Alright, so we got that out. Under here, just gonna flip it over because I had a screw fall. There we go. So, now motor that is damaged. We've got to take the motor out. 
So the damaged motor is this one right here. So we've got to pop the prop off. I like using prop removal tools to do this kind of work. Get it off, that way we're not bending any of the shafts. It just comes off nice and easy there. Now we've got to take the motor housing off. Now this is where I actually broke it. I was able to glue the actual mount back on. So right, get the focus here. This little retaining piece here is what broke. Little retainer piece right there. That's what broke. Okay, let's see what we gotta do here now. So I believe we're gonna have to pull this little motor, the little landing gear mount off. So let's pull that out. Yeah, that just pops out nice and easy. Okay, I'll put that back down. Now here what you're going to be dealing with the white and black wire. I'm going to zoom it in a little bit here. Get a better look at what I'm doing. So we're dealing with that white and black plug right there. So I'm just going to grab a little pair of pliers and then we'll pop that out. moving the wires and then we should be able to pull that motor straight out. So it's pretty tight in there though. It does have a little bit of play. Oh, well that would be why the motor's not working. There's no contact there. So we're just going to take our screwdriver and push it through. motor actually was separated. Maybe that's why. Hmm. See, maybe that crash separated that. Maybe this motor is repairable. I'm actually going to hold on to this and we will uh, see if I can fix it at a later date. Alright, so we're going to put that aside right now. Now, Get. I think what we're going to do here is get this new motor, which will be that guy right there. Same color wire, the black and red. Red wire. So we will put the other motor safely away because if I don't, I will lose it. Okay, so first things first, I think we're going to get this motor run and mounted into the housing here. Just comparing it to the other motors, looks like we're in all the way there. Okay, so that, that went in pretty easily. You, but this plug, well, we need that plug now to go into there. So, and the new motor doesn't come with the plug. So, we're gonna have to solder this plug onto here, I believe. I don't really have a choice. So, I'll get my snips. See 
what kind of length we need. So if we run that through to there, to there, we do need a bit of length for this to work nicely. So we will give it maybe about, a, about an inch. There. We just snipped it. We gave it about an inch there. We need to prep these wires for soldering now. So let's be careful. I've got a knife here, and this is just to separate the wires. tool tray. Alright, there you go, they're separated now. I'm going to just take my wire strippers. I'm just going to strip a little bit off the ends there. There we go. Get them ready for attaching it to the plug. Well, attaching the plug here to the So I'm just going to get a little bit of flux ready here. And I'm just going to dip these wires into some flux. Just some flux there. Just get some flux on the end. Twist these wires together. Okay. We're going to get a little bit of solder out. The soldering iron preheated, ready to go. Just gonna get some solder onto the iron. And then just tin these wires. Doesn't take much to get them soldered. There we go. Those wires are ready to go. It's always good to keep a nice clean soldering iron. The nice tip makes things a lot easier. Alright, so Think in for this, we should probably put a little. You know what? I was thinking about putting a little shrink tube on there. So, yeah, I think we should. I don't usually like leaving wires exposed or anything. This, sorry, I wasn't uh, prepared with the shrink tube, but let's open her up here. And Plenty of shrink tube here. So let's a little red, a little bit of red and white, a little red and black. So the red was a little bit too big there. I'm just gonna find the size smaller. And it doesn't look to have it, so some red, some black. Don't need much. piece of each. But that big is fine, about half inch. Should be fine. Now we'll just open those wires up a bit more. Black on the black wire and the red on the red wire. Soldering iron back out. And you always use the electrical solder, obviously. We're not plumbers here. I'm going to get a little bit of solder onto I'm just going to get these wires actually just twisted together here a bit. 
For me, this is a little more difficult. My hands are a little bit, uh, a bit large for this kind of work, but we'll get through it. And this being a small drone, the parts aren't exactly uh, aren't exactly large. Positive is connected. Should be good, yeah. Okay, we're just going to get this negative hooked up now. Oops, shrink tube fell off there. And again, excuse me. This is, like I said, these are really small pieces, small wires, and my hands are not tiny. Alright, I'm getting a little more solder onto the soldering iron, and we're just getting a little bit on there, and hopefully it will be good. We'll see. Yeah, well, we didn't quite get a connection there with that one. Might have to use the pliers here just to help me twist these two pieces together a little bit here. Alright, we should be good now. Let's get a little more solder on there. A little bit on the iron here. and There, I think we're good now. Alright. Yeah, we're good. So we're going to put the solder away. that. It's getting the shrink tube over top. There we go. And we'll get the positive shrink tube over the top. Just like so. Get the negative a little bit further. Alright, now it needs a little bit of heat. And I just grabbed my wife's hair dryer just to get this shrink tube dealt with. So I'm just going to zoom in here a bit. Turn this on. So we've got plug on. So now we've got to run these wires. Now these wires run through these small little channels all the way through the framework. Down here and into the plug. So let's see about getting that done. It's going to be hard to get those wires. They're so small. I'm going to have to probably grab a small flathead screwdriver, I'm thinking. Let's see, I'll just head over to the toolbox and grab one. There, I think that should do. So we'll start with the positive. Since I don't know get it yet. There we go. positive started and the negative is going to follow it because it's attached. We're just getting it part way in right now. So far this is going to be, I think, the hardest part. And again, it's not because it's difficult putting a wire into the channel like that, it's because my hands are so big. But we will prevail. Pulling it out because it wasn't the way I wanted it to be. Now, did I 
put the motor in the right way, yeah. Problem is, is the negative actually has to go down first, just the orientation of the motor. Let's see. seems to be the hardest part. You know what, we're just going to go with the way we had it and we'll get that wire where it needs to go after. I'm not too concerned about it. There we go. We're going to get this whole top end put in before we work on the bottom. There we go. We got it in there. I'm just gently using the screwdriver push the wire through this little chase that's built into the frame. Alright. Pretty much got it here. shrink tube is really close to getting in the way there. I think it's going to go in. Alright, there we go. It's going to push the wire in the rest of the way. This keeps it all protected. Now we're just going to plug this in. So that is in now. And now we're just going to manipulate manipulate the wires just to kind of be out of the way there. I'm having a little bit of problem with the negative, but we'll get through it here. too rough because I don't want to break the wire and we've done this all for nothing there we go there nicely protected if that wasn't in the shot it's just like I said it was a little difficult so we ran our wire from here down here into here and there's our plug plugged back in so now we're going to put our body back together so there we go everything's in we're zooming out there This went that way right there. To be honest with you, I'm not a hundred percent sure. Yeah, I believe it was yeah, it was this way. Okay, so I'm gonna get these two screws in right there. Start with that. Let me just get the screwdriver here. screws to put in on this undercarriage and we've got four screws to put in on the other so eight screws in total need to be taken out and that's not lined up I'm just gonna get that lined up properly should be right about there there we go so those two screws are in There to put in. And drop that one in there. Right. So on this 
quite possible I put that on backwards. But nope, it looks like I've got it on the right way. So we've got four screws here. And we're going to tighten these up in a cross pattern, which I believe makes sense just to keep it all aligned. here. And one more at the back. And go around and just snug all of them. Make sure they're all tight. All right. That's done, that's done. Landing gear needs to go back in. Let's see now. How are we gonna get that back in? I have to squeeze it in. Probably the help of my flathead screwdriver. Push it in. There we go. It's almost in there. Motors mounted. We need to put the motor mount back on. Again, it's hard to see, but you can see probably all the glue and how twisted that piece is. That's where I crashed it. But I was able to get that retainer clip back on. And probably with a little bit of effort here. There we go. Motor mount's back on. We will put the prop back on. is on. Clear out some tools off the bench here. So it was this one that was not spinning before. We're going to put the battery in. I just want to show you something on the battery here. So you've got it it's labeled top, which I, uh, is fine, but look at bottom. I actually pointed this out to Holly Stone, so we may be seeing a change in production in the near future. Because they've spelled bottom wrong. Top and bottom. Alright, let's throw the battery back in. Battery's in. Let's power on. Okay, power's on. And this is where we're looking at right here on that one right there. Let's see if it turns. I'm going to grab the transmitter, turn it on, and look at there. And she works. happy about that. Hope you guys uh, enjoyed this video. Keep your eye open for the Dirty Bird project. That's all I'm going to say about that, but I think you'll enjoy it. We've got a series of mods coming to one of my drones, and we're also going to be unboxing the Amazon return that Hollystone kind enough to give me due to the broken piece. So again, Hollystone, number one customer service. I have got nothing but good things to say about them. They are absolutely great and I've dealt with three different customer service reps from there and I couldn't be more happy. Anyways guys, thanks for checking this out. Give me a thumbs up, hit the like button, subscribe, I'm new to this. My channel is new. I need all the help I can get. Thanks, guys.